Walt Disney. Walt Disney was an incredibly creative man who would have the idea for his now famous franchise, Disney. Hi, I'm Lily, and I'm going to be talking about the history of the U.S. Disney theme parks. How the idea came to be. Walt Disney, as I said before, was a very creative and hardworking man. He worked in the cartoon industry and um, as an animator, and he was an extremely out of the box thinker. One day, he was taking his daughters to the Griffith theme park to ride the carousel. While they were riding the carousel, he thought to himself, is there a place for adults and kids to hang out and enjoy the same things? Now, obviously in his time, there were things like this, but they were very unkempt, unclean. They sold a lot of alcohol and they were unideal for families to go and spend time together. That is when Walt had the idea for his Disney theme park. Two, his vision for the theme parks. As I said before, Walt worked with cartoons and was a very creative person. Now, he wanted this to be a place for family, but he also wanted his theme parks to be a place where his cartoons could come to life. He wanted it to be very family friendly, very clean, very kept, lots of janitors. Absolutely, he didn't want any alcohol sold there at the beginning because he wanted it to be a place where they could focus on spending time with each other. In his early visions, Walt did not want any roller coasters in his theme park, just the vision of Main Street USA with games and vendors and shops. Three, the evolution of the Disney theme parks. In 1971, over in Orlando, Florida, Walt decided to start another theme park after the one in Anaheim, California, called Walt Disney World. At this time, Walt decided to occupy a small space of land for two hotels, the Polynesian and the Contemporary. His copied um, theme park, Magic Kingdom, and two golf courses. In 1976, they had the idea for a permanent world fair showcasing lots of cultures and lots of countries from around the world. This would later be known as Epcot. During the production of this world fair, they decided to add an attraction called Spaceship Earth that could show the evolution of mankind and technology throughout the years. And later, they would add Tomorrowland. In 1989, they added Hollywood Studios, which showcased the golden age of Hollywood. This was supposed to be sort of like Main Street USA with lots of vendors, lots of street food, stuff like that, and music and dancing um, to showcase the glamorousness of the golden age in Hollywood. Um, and they added attractions like Star Tours um, from Star Wars, the great movie ride showcasing some of Hollywood's greatest films, and Indiana Jones. And last, in 1998, um, he decided to open the fourth and final park, Animal Kingdom, which he envisioned to be a giant zoo for people to go and see animals from all around the world. Now, Animal Kingdom was home, it, was and is still home to 2,000 animals, including 300 species of animals. Um, and he wanted it to be a place where people could, you know, just like experience nature and like be outside. Um, so, in conclusion, Walt Disney was a very creative man and he had a lot of ideas from a small office to now what's one of the biggest franchises with many theme parks from around the world. Um, keep moving forward, his motto is really something you should all listen to because it is very enthusiastic. Thank you for listening to my speech. Yay!